sadly can't take you guys along not now anyway um, but I will try to film as much BTS as possible so that when this project does go public and live um, I can show you some cool behind the scenes footage mm -hmm. so guys thank you so much and we will see you probably after the shoot bye hey guys welcome to my daily vlogs please subscribe all right guys so it is now evening finished a whole day of shooting mm -hmm. yes for a secret project a project that i can't talk about yet um but when this project does go live you guys will be the first to know mm -hmm. and i have been filming like behind the scenes and all of that but ah uh, i had to remove all of that camera makeup it is so thick and i even had hairspray in my hair and everything I completely forgot to bring like face soap. Oh, gee. Anyways, RJ prepared a beautiful like table arrangement, I guess. The production gave us food and look. Ooh. Table arrangement. Table arrangement? Well, this isn't exactly a table skate. It's a table arrangement. We're just eating. Yeah. That's it. They gave us food, guys. Look, it's like good quality food too. Macaroni. I'm gonna eat this. Potatoes. There's chicken, this for beef, marcon, parmesan, and part. cheddar crusted cobbler fillets. Oh my gosh, there's so much. Uh, by the way, guys, if you're new to the vlogs, welcome to the channel. My name is Mikey Bustos. This is RG Garcia. We are um, in our own city here in Manila in a hotel, a gorgeous five-star hotel. It's the Shangri-La. And we have an executive suite because we're into production for a certain thing. This part of the production will be a two-day taping. So we just finished today's. Tomorrow's um, is a whole day of shooting again. Um, and then we pick up again the next weekend. So this will continue for like three weeks, I believe. Ah, but yeah, so we're not allowed to leave the bubble. We've been tested. So now we're in the safety bubble. So we can't leave the hotel or anything like that. So we just... we're gonna live here in the shang for like two days we really miss our dogs but yeah we gotta work right so our dogs can live awesome lives are we living for our dogs we're living so that our dogs have amazing lives yeah. <laughs> rj's laughing there's rj we're about to get into bed but guys i ordered room service <laughs> oh such yes. memories such memories of old school mabuhai squad right like are any of you from like season two or one or three even when rj and i were pretty much living out of hotels touring around the world you know doing concerts and shows and just random things like traveling even for fun oh but one of the things i miss about room service is the food <laughs> But guys, I had to try Shangri-La food, guys. Mm. This is the Shang we're talking about. Hashtag not sponsored. And I also needed to order a glass of milk because as some of you may know, I'm like now obsessed with getting all my nutrients and vitamins and minerals in the day through an app called Chronometer. Changed my life, guys. I'm like totally feeling great. I can see it in my skin. I can see it. I, I You know what? Today, another Another side effect from eating properly I'm on day four now of eating of getting all my nutrients by the way in case you're wondering what app it is it's called chronometer it looks like this and if you look carefully you can see that there's like a sort of like a bar graph which helps you meet your like I guess your fitness or your health goals I'm very low on calcium every single day my diet is like very low on calcium but we fix that with a glass of milk. I can't wait to see. Mm. Let's put it in. Glass of milk. Okay, but what? there's so many different kinds. Add to diary. Yay, I got more calcium. Awesome. Um, and I'm a little low on fiber. But no problem. After I have this, am I low on fat too? Oh, I'm almost reaching my fat requirements. Anyways, I also wanted to eat the salmon just because. Wanted to try. Guys, don't you love hotel food? Look at this hash brown. Mmm, let's eat the hash brown first. Guys, crunchy hash brown. Open. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. Look at how good that looks, guys. Talk about gourmet meal, right? I can't wait for breakfast too, guys. Mmm. Guys, this is gonna be a food vlog. I'm gonna take you to breakfast tomorrow morning. Mmm. Let's try the salmon. This is Atlantic salmon. Atlantic? Mmm. 
Mmm. Mm -hmm. Oh my. Mm. Of course, this is five Mabuhay stars. Mmm. Mm -mm -mm. Asparagus. Let's do the makeup thing. Mmm. Mmm. Spinach. I've been wanting this for a while. Yum. Okay, I gotta add all of these groups into my like meal. It's the end of the night. Mmm. Oh my gosh. So good, guys. Food for life. Have a good night. Sleep well. Get all your vitamins and nutrients. It makes a difference, guys. Okay, wait. Before I let you go for the evening, some of you, even RJ was saying, you won't see effects till weeks or months later. No, guys. I know my body. I know myself. No chapped lips. As I said in a previous vlog, as soon as I met all my nutritional requirements for the day, including getting random things like folate, potassium, more fiber and stuff. Guys, the first thing I noticed was my lips. They're still super supple. I've never had to like chew on them or pick them or none of that. So supple and healthy, like all the way down to the deepest tissue fiber of my lips. So healthy. And then like my, my skin, like even today, like just, oh, even after the shoot, guys, it just blows my mind how insufficient my last, my diet used to be. I know this is just a guideline, but it's still an eye opener as to like what a true balanced diet is and what a complete, nutritionally complete diet is. I think the average person doesn't meet all the nutritional requirements. I mean, I probably would not re reach my <laughs> nutritional goals and requirements for the day if, for example, I wasn't taking a multivite or I wasn't eating like a ton of stuff during the day. Guys, variety is the key. Now I understand. Mmm. Mmm. Mm -mm -mm. Anyways, yum. Oh yeah, one more thing. Today, when I was delivering my lines for this shoot, my memory was so good. So guys, like even my memory improved because usually it takes me forever to memorize like a whole paragraph of lines, but not today. I got it in like three or four tries. I'm telling you, try it guys, try it. And you guys will see too. Good morning guys, yes. Was up at, well, actually I woke up at like 3.30 a.m. Uh oh, I can't have eye bags, no. Um, went to bed super early last night because I mean, that huge king sized bed here at the Shang, oh, it's just <sighs> knocked out, like super easy. Guys, look at it outside, it's now four. 50 so almost 5 a.m. See it beautiful, right? We're like hardcore in the city of BGC um, The skyline you see from my place is also can is it's Metro Manila. We're at the we're more central But this here is BGC. It's like the business district So it really looks like a city in like the US. It doesn't really look Filipino it to me it looks just like Toronto or New York or any other like American North American city like I don't see any tricycles down there I don't hear any roosters <laughs> you know what I'm saying it just it's a beautiful beautiful city this is actually the neighborhood of um, our good friends Mark and Ro Matsuyama they live here you know how every house has its like beautiful part of the home this is basically the beautiful part of like Manila <laughs> um, very expensive area high class area um, awesome bars and parties here like before the pandemic what we used to always come here with our friends and awesome like places to drink beer and party if you want go clubbing but yeah this here is BGC it's called but mind you, for me, all parts of Metro Manila are beautiful, but that's just me. Uh, yeah, and had to make instant, not, not instant coffee, like, you know, the bullet coffee where you stick like a thing in the machine. I wish I could run, guys. I would totally run right now. I would love to run through BGC for like a 5K or a 10K this morning, but sadly, we're in a protective bubble, right guys? They're, they're keeping us in. We've been swabbed and guys, I was watching the vlog the other day, yesterday, and like I saw how she stuck the thing in my nose. She stuck it D. She told me to relax and so that because I bet she knew she was gonna stick it way in my brain. I'm like, oh man. 
Um, but yeah, we're, we're in a safety bubble. So everyone in the production of this secret project um, is all swabbed, all of that. And we're not allowed to leave. We're not allowed to, you know, mingle with the outside. We're in this protective bubble. Call time is early again this morning. And it's going to be a longer day of shooting this time. So, uh, and then after that, we get swabbed again before we go home. I'm like, oh, why? But I am super duper honored to be part of this production. When it comes out, you guys will see why. And I wish I could say more, but I can't, so I won't. Uh, but yeah, I'm looking forward to breakfast, guys. Ooh. So one of the things RJ and I love um, is this glass on top of like material. You know what I mean? Like this is leather here and see all of this work here. What do we call it? Like it's wood and then it's like leather and patchwork of different materials anyway. And then the glass on top, it makes for a very cool workstation. Oh my gosh, is this real? Oh, it's a real orchid. How is it getting any sunlight here? Okay, so from what I understand about the plant industry, this is something I learned in Las Vegas. So the gardener, early in the morning, I saw this guy like taking out beautiful flowers from this huge floral arrangement in like in front of some hotel, right? And I'm like, why are you removing these flowers? They're, they're, they're beautiful and they're still healthy. And he was putting in new flowers. And then he told me, he's like, oh no, this is, this is routine. These flowers are no good now. He said that they go, their company goes in and they constantly swap fresh new flowers um, so, so that it looks really pristine. And then I learned there are companies that do this. They go into like hotels, they swap all flowers so they're all fresh. So essentially a lot of these flowers are not in the best like growing conditions and they like, they die eventually. But before that, they get swapped out. Such an interesting interesting industry the like like the decorative plant industry um so most likely this orchid will be swapped out um eventually i don't know if they throw it away or if they just bring it to a place where it can grow better and then they bring it back but it just blows my mind and rj and i also found out there are companies here in the philippines that will go into your house like you don't have to be a hotel they will go to your house and swap your flowers and plants like let's say you want like specific a specific array of decorative plants or tropical trees in your house they will come in every two weeks every month and swap out brand new like trees or whatever tropical like flourishing indoor garden they will swap that out for you even on your in your outdoor garden they'll do that isn't that crazy the plant and like the decorative plant industry is just blows my mind and that's the secret to get like pristine beautiful foliage and fresh flowers in these like five-star hotels but let's see our positive affirmation for saturday july the 17th i make positive changes easily and effortlessly there you go guys hope you enjoy today's positive affirmation all right guys so it's breakfast time good morning rj rj's ready for breakfast he's so guapo man look at his outfit guys i can't wait to see what the breakfast is like here at Shangri-La Hotel. Let's go. It's time. <laughs>